From ancient Rome's Emperor Caligula appointing his horse as a senator to the Viking Leif Erikson's pre-Columbian journey to North America, history is laden with peculiarities. The great Alexander, despite his immense conquests, faced a grim possibility of being entombed alive. The ancient Olympics saw athletes competing in the nude, and female gladiators, the gladiatrices, fought alongside their male counterparts in brutal arenas. This is VeloBee's History Facts. Highly recommended to hit that subscribe button now for more incredible content. In ancient Rome, Emperor Caligula famously appointed his cherished horse, Incitatus, as a senator. He pampered the horse with luxurious accommodations, including a marble stall, ivory manger, jeweled collar, and its own house. This unusual gesture, amidst Caligula's known brutality and madness, stands as a striking example of his extravagant and unconventional reign. During the 17th and 18th centuries, fox tossing emerged as a favored sport among Europe's aristocracy. This peculiar activity involved individuals or pairs hurling foxes with the aim of achieving maximum distance and height. Although it may seem unbelievable today, this unusual pastime gained popularity in elite circles. In ancient Mayan culture, turkeys held a revered status as vessels of the divine. Worshipped as conduits for the gods, these birds were integral to religious practices. The Mayans elevated turkeys to a sacred position within their society. Meet Sir Henry Morgan, the true face behind the beloved Captain Morgan Rum brand. This Welsh privateer, a genuine captain, made history fighting the Spanish alongside the English in the Caribbean. Knighted by King Charles II, Sir Henry Morgan amassed immense wealth and influence. His legacy lived on until his passing in 1688 in Jamaica, marking the end of a remarkable life as a wealthy and renowned figure in maritime history. In 323 BC, Alexander the Great, renowned for creating history's largest land-based empire, fell fatally ill at the age of 32. Despite his passing after 12 days of intense suffering, his body bafflingly resisted decomposition for six days. Recent scientific analyses suggest he likely grappled with Guillain-Barre syndrome, a neurological ailment. The shocking revelation proposes a grim fate. Alexander might have been entombed alive, paralyzed but conscious at the time of his supposed demise. This astonishing possibility unveils a haunting narrative, depicting a great conqueror tragically buried alive in antiquity. During the ancient Olympics, athletes adopted a striking practice, competing in the nude. The term gymnastics finds its roots in the ancient Greek words gymnasia, signifying athletic training, exercise, and gumnos, meaning naked encapsulating the essence of training in the nude. The female gladiators, known as gladiatrices, these formidable fighters, though rarer than their male counterparts, held a significant role in the brutal entertainment of the time. They shared the same duties as men, tasked with executing criminals and engaging in combat, both against each other and against wild animals, within the city's various fighting pits. In the early 11th century, Viking explorer Leif Erikson, hailing from Greenland, led an expedition to the shores of North America, notably landing on the island of Newfoundland around 1000 AD. This expedition marked the first known European presence in the Americas, preceding Christopher Columbus's famed voyage by around 500 years. In ancient Asia, elephants were trained as executioners, inflicting gruesome deaths by breaking bones, crushing skulls, and wielding blades on their tusks. This barbaric practice persisted in some areas until the late 19th century, showcasing a grim chapter where these intelligent creatures became instruments of brutal executions. Ancient Greeks had a unique perception of masculinity that contrasts with modern norms. Surprisingly, wearing skirts was considered a symbol of manliness in their society, while trousers were viewed as effeminate. Men opting for trousers risked facing ridicule and mockery. In 1386, amidst a time of limited civil and animal rights, a pig in Falaise, France, was put on trial for attacking a child and subsequently executed for murder by hanging. In 1944, 
A significant ambush by a German Tiger tank destroyed nearly 30 British vehicles while the crews were on an unexpected tea break. This event sparked a crucial realization within the military. There was a need for on-the-go brewing capabilities in tanks. Consequently, by 1945, British tanks underwent a revolutionary upgrade, the incorporation of tea-making facilities. Before this innovation, tank crews faced exposure risks as they had to leave their vehicles for a quick tea brew. During the Great Depression, scarcity led people to fashion clothing from food sacks and burlap materials, including flour and potato sacks. To address this trend, food distributors revamped their sacks with vibrant colors, inadvertently turning them into makeshift fashion statements. Lord Byron, the renowned romantic poet, flouted Trinity College, Cambridge's ban on dogs by bringing a tamed bear to his dormitory. Despite objections, Byron's audacious move was justified as college rules didn't explicitly prohibit bears. To assert his victory, he defiantly paraded the bear around campus on a leash, symbolizing his rebellion against the institution's restrictive regulations. Established in 930, the Althing stands as the world's oldest parliament, holding its position as Iceland's governing body to this day. In pursuit of efficiency, Charles Darwin ingeniously modified his opulent armchair by adding wheels, crafting a prototype of the modern wheeled office chair. Seeking to optimize his productivity and economize study hours, this adaptation allowed Darwin to move seamlessly within his workspace. In the late 1800s, the movie industry, centered in New York, fell under the control of Thomas Edison's patents on key filmmaking tech. Faced with Edison's dominance, filmmakers made a pivotal move. They fled to California. This strategic relocation provided a haven away from Edison's patent influence. Hollywood emerged from this exodus, free from Edison's grasp, birthing the global movie giant we know today. In 1710, Native American leaders, including four Mohawk kings from the Iroquois Confederacy, visited Britain. They were treated as esteemed diplomats, riding in royal carriages through London's streets and meeting Queen Anne at the court of St. James Palace. Before ascending to the presidency, Abraham Lincoln displayed a penchant for wrestling, emerging as a notable figure in the sport. An ardent participant, Lincoln engaged in around 300 matches, securing victory in the vast majority. In the Roman Empire, ferrets replaced cats in pest control, while dogs served as guards. Monkeys, however, were cherished for their entertainment value, prized for their humor.